Revitalize Wellness Center, a haven of peace, tranquility, and vitality. Every detail well thought out to enable all those that walk through the Wellness Center's doors achieve their optimum goal to relax. There's four ladies coming for a spa day. This is Susan Rodriguez's second home away from home, an experience that would have crippled her future instead gave her wind beneath her wings. Her husband died of diabetes three and a half years ago. He hated exercising, would never do a massage, he was stressed out. So I felt when he went, he was the inspiration behind all this. So I said, I'm going to start something where people can come, work out, feel good, do a massage, feel less stress, do their nails, do their hair. And that's how the whole story started. A mother of three adults and recently a grandmother, Susan has had to drastically change her lifestyle and leave what she preaches. I use my gym every single day. I've lost 10 kgs since I started. I feel so different. I do massages on a weekly basis. I do facials. I do my nails. I'm just so much more relaxed. I don't have so much stress. Yes, I'm running a business which can be very stressful, but I definitely have less stress. And for me to have my business succeed, I need to be the example. I can't talk about losing weight and I've never stepped into the gym. Almost three years later and two revitalized wellness centers so far, Susan greatly attests her success to injecting young life into her business. I kind of go back to when I was first looking for a job all those years ago. You'd be told, oh, you need three years experience, but you're just com coming out of college or university. Where do you get three years experience? Yet, these are the people with energy. So if you look at my staff, 85% of them are below 30 years old. In fact, you might even find some that are below 20, 25. But I believe in bringing the young people in. They work hard. This is their first job. They're going to give it everything they've got, most of them. And that gives them a chance in life as well. So before she stepped out into the world of wellness, Susan had dedicated 30 years to the corporate world as an accountant. But I can tell you now, this is my passion. I, don't, I didn't know anything about the beauty industry. I've learned. I've learned what I need to learn to run my business. But I'm telling anyone out there who wants to do something different, don't be scared to do it. Just get there and take the first step. If you're passionate about what you do, 99% of the time you are going to succeed. Born to a Scottish father and a Kenyan mom, Susan is as Kenyan as it gets and would like to cultivate the wellness culture across the country. All this despite the challenges she's had to deal with nurturing a new business. I think the biggest challenge is staff. That's just business. That's just business. But life happens to all of us. So somebody will call in, my child is sick, and you know on that day you're so busy, the spa is full. And suddenly you don't have, you're short one person, so you have to rearrange the whole schedule. It just throw you, throws you off balance completely. And then you have issues with suppliers not delivering certain things you want. So if you're going to succeed, get rid of those challenges. There's always a solution. But if you are passionate about what you do, then it does not seem so much of a challenge. Susan is living her dream, one that was born out of a painful experience, but in a way has found a way to give back to all those that patronage her space. Out of every uh, disadvantage or bad thing, there's the seed of an equivalent benefit. So losing someone is not the end of your life. Life goes on. And you must pick up from where you were. Whoever you lost would not want you to sit back and just... I don't know, you know, grow old in a chair at home and sit there for the next rest of your life feeling sorry for yourself. You may not even have lost anyone. You may have lost a job. It is not the end of the world. It just means you now have an opportunity to start your own business. You may not have the capital. You may have only a small amount. But start where you are. One step at a time, you're going to get to where you want to go. For Women in Power, my name is Gladys Kashanja.